Gave it to Stewart. Went and got it again, Holmes. Gave it to Stanley. Stanley's rust kick around the body. High ball. Really super competitive there it was. Handball come from Atkins. Got it to Holmes. Into close. Through here to Isaac Smith. Running is Stengel. Stengel goes inside 50. Cameron stands. Delivers and marks. Jeremy Cameron is marked. 25 metres out on a slight angle. And this is going to get it back to a two-goal game. Huge kick here. I was just wondering how bold the Pies are willing to be off half-back. It was young Dacos who went for the short, low kick that resulted in the turnover. Big moment here. Cameron for goal number four, but forget the individual superiority. This is about team. Cameron's directly in front, 25 out, and he kicks the goal. No problems. It's down to a 12-point margin. They've got a lot of belief. 13-12-90. And the Cats, 11 6 72 or is it 12 6? It's 12 6 78. So a 12 point margin now. The Pies have stopped to a walk through centre half back is Collar Jasney. Hammers the ball long. Madgen's there. He dropped the mark. Spoiled by his own man. Quainer. They've got the numbers. Spills to Stengel. Stengel goes back to De Koning. De Koning goes long. Cameron's here with Howe. Out the back. Cameron runs into an open goal. Kicks his fifth and they're within a goal. They've kicked four early last quarter goals. Four in a row, and they are back within a goal, and Cameron has five on the Beacon Trade scoreboard. Well, the Pies have stopped to a walk. He called it BT, coming off half back there. Colin Jasney just waltzed out with no one chasing him. All that life and energy has been zapped as the Cats have come out in this fourth term and taken a blowtorch to the G. They've got all the belief at the minute. They're the ones who are running on top of the ground, taking the game on and getting some really good opportunities. We've spoken all night at the ease at which they're scoring. It looks like it's going to continue. Yeah, and pressure down for Collingwood so far in this term. We'll talk about how high it was in the third quarter. Their pressure factor so far in this fourth quarter, 136. AFL average 180. And the fact they've trimmed the margin so early in the quarter means that they, they can afford to have a goal kick against them if they lose concentration at any stage. Absolutely, and that means also that they can actually just go back to playing. It doesn't have to be straight up the guts all uh, going straight forward, if you will. It's crisp. Hemmel's back to Penabry, who did the kick in. He just chisels a little awkward ball. It's going to be turned over. No, Parfit couldn't grab the handle. Selwood wanted oh, it hard. He came through. It's going to bob up with him oh. again. Hemmel forward to Koning. Feeds it inside for Dowhouse. On the left. He's got Cameron! How good was Selwood? It might not be your night, BT, but yeah. it could be your moment. That yeah. was it for him. He hasn't never, had the best night. Never a better example of that. It hasn't had the biggest night or the best night. I'm sure it hasn't gone to plan as he would have dreamt it and drawn it up. But there, three occasions, he was the one. 50-50 balls, he said, no, it's 51-49 my way. And good enough to execute the skill as well. Talk about a match winner. He's kicked two so far in this final term. He's kicked five all up for number six. For Jeremy Cameron, fires. They're in front by seven. The Cats have been insatiable in this final term. And with a minute and a half left on the clock, they hit the front by seven points on the Triple M Beacon Trade scoreboard.